one of my viewers made a great point that it may actually just be the deadlift bar that is making sumo potentially easier than conventional. Because if we look at comparing IPF numbers to untested powerlifting numbers, the, in the IPF we can see here that four out of the top ten deadlifters pull sumo, and the numbers are very close together with 878 being the highest and 821 at number 10, much closer margin. But then if we go over to the untested lifters, particularly when the Kabuki deadlift bar was introduced, there's a huge range here from 1,074 by Danny Grigsby to 931 at number 10. Now, Benedict Magnuson also, which should be noted, pulled conventional, but it was on pound plates that gave a lot of whip. That would not have been as high on calibrated plates, not even close. Liam Newell is a perfect comparison. He pulled 777 pounds on a stiff bar in the USAPL, and then he went on to pull 860 pounds coming up here on a Kabuki deadlift bar, which is an 80-pound discrepancy. If you think about all the lifting vault videos, a lot of them are sumo pullers who are on pound plates and on deadlift bars. You don't see a lot of stiff bars. So I think the deadlift bar could be the root of the problem. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below.